Yes, I have cats. I actually have four cats. I did not start out with that intention, but that's just how my life unfolded. So what can I say? I'll tell you how the story of how that happened to me later because it'll illustrate a point that I want to make in this video. Um, and this is Mr. Futon. I should have introduced him earlier. <laughs> In addition to having multiple cats, I'm also getting very close to being officially a senior. And knowing the kind of work that it takes to care for a cat, it made sense for my partner Robin and I to write an article on that topic on our website, uh, SeniorSafetyAdvice.com. So we wrote an article titled, Are Cats Good Pets for Seniors? Hi, I'm Esther Kane, and today's video is going to go over some of the pros and cons for seniors and pet cats. Of course, if a pet is good or not for anyone really boils down to their personalities. I'm talking about the personalities of the person and the pet, in this case, a cat. So the information that I'm giving you in this video is general information based on my experiences. Please take that into consideration. I do want to say that if you're considering getting a pet for an elderly person who has dementia or Alzheimer's, if they're living alone, you know, if their cognitive issues are mild, then I would not recommend getting them a pet at the, this time. There's no way to know how quickly the progression of their disease will, you know, unfold and what they may or may not do to that animal without knowing it. Of course, if someone else is living in the home with them to help care for that pet, well, then that's a different story. But generally speaking, cats can make excellent companions for elderly individuals. The reasons are that when you compare cats to dogs, cats are much more low maintenance than dogs. They also tend to have fewer medical issues. Cats are generally predictable and very happy indoors. And they generally do not require as much attention as dogs do. Now, I'm talking here about cats, not kittens. I know that officially a kitten turns into a cat at about six months old, but my experience has been that cats up to two years old can act very much like kittens. Maybe not as crazy and energetic, but fairly close. So for that reason, I'd say that if you're looking to get a cat for a senior person, get one that is three years old or more. And I'll go over some of the reasons why I make that recommendation later. By the way, if you like this video um, so far and find our other videos helpful, please subscribe to our YouTube channel Hit the like button and the bell to get notified when we put up another video next week. We would be extremely grateful for all of those. Okay, just to give you some background on why I recommend older cats, I'll give you the short story of how I got to end up living with four cats. My late husband always liked cats and we pretty much always had two, uh, which is really good as long as they get along. Um, my husband then sadly passed away and our two cats at the time were about six to eight years old, so they were older cats. Um, I eventually moved into a smaller house and just a few months later, I found this very emaciated kitten on my front porch. I mean, she was literally nothing but skin and bones. It was very sad to say the least. So how could I not feed her? right? <laughs> she was scared to death of me. She wouldn't come onto the porch if I was out there, but yet she came by every single day for food and water. And after about a couple of weeks, she started just hanging out on the front porch. She'd stay nearby, but if I was out there, she would not come out and she would never come close to me. All of this was fine. I mean, because my intention was to eventually capture her and get her neutered. Um, but of course, first I had to earn her trust a little bit. So I set up a carrier on the porch and I put her food out there in an attempt to, you know, eventually capture her. But what I didn't know at the time was that she was pregnant. Anyway, a month later, she brought me four kittens. Yep, four tiny little kittens. And that day that she brought me the kittens, I put her food bowl in the crate that I was using to capture her and 
she just walked into the crate and sat down. Now, normally, she would poke her head in and then run, and then she would come back later and eat the food when I wasn't out there on the porch. So now that she was in the crate, I closed it up naturally. I picked up all four kittens, put them in a box, and brought them uh, brought the whole loot over to the vet. I mean, the kittens were so small, they just they fit on the palm of my hand. Turns out the kittens were less than a month old. The mother herself was only about six months old. So yeah, no wonder she looked like a kitten. She was a kitten. But they had some medical issues um, with their eyes, the kittens did, which meant that they needed daily drops in their eyes for three weeks. <laughs> yep, so that meant that I had to bring them home and care for them until I could get them adopted. Yeah, I did not expect that. And clearly, I did not think this entire thing through. I had never had kittens. My husband and I had always adopted older cats. I never even held a kitten. So it was a challenge for me to say the least. Now, yeah, I agree, kittens are cute, but they're also extremely active and a bit crazy. They'd fly around, jumping off the walls, chasing each other and anything that they deemed to be a toy. I mean, I told my friends it was like watching cats on crack. <laughs> I learned that kittens will chase your legs and climb on you and hide under furniture and cabinets and jump out at you. I learned that they run in front of you and behind you and all around you while you're walking. I also learned that they love to run up and down the stairs while you're on the stairs. And a few times they tripped me while I was on the stairs. Thank goodness I was holding on to the banister. I've learned since then. So the reason that I'm telling you this story is to illustrate the difference between an older cat who plays a little and sleeps a lot versus a younger cat who needs to play a lot and sleeps a little. Needless to say, you can see that it would be much easier for an older person to take care of an older cat than a younger one. So because of that, again, I do recommend that if you're considering getting a cat as a pet for an older person, do not get a kitten if you can help it. Um, for me, it took about two years for my rescued mother and her kitten to calm down. So consider that before you get a kitten for someone who may not have good balance or has trouble bending down to the ground. Um, so I'd say a cat that's about three years or older should work out better for seniors. At least that's been my experience. Of course, if you have different experiences, give us your comments below and let us know what they've been. I would love to hear from you. Although I was able to get three of those kittens adopted, the mother cat had initial, um, she had a strong um, bond um, with one of her kittens and I just didn't have the heart to separate them and I couldn't find anyone to take them both. So that's how I ended up with two young cats and two older cats. <laughs> Overall, the experience has taught me that there are some wonderful pros and a few cons to owning a cat. Um, I can think of five pros and four cons, so let's go over each of them. Pro number one, like most pets, cats can help you to de-stress. They can keep you company. They can help you to fight off anxiety and depression. And all of these are very common issues in older adults. It's true, cats don't generally play as much when they get older, but most cats do love to be stroked and petted which can be very calming for the person who is doing that. Pro number two, cats, as I said earlier, are pretty low maintenance. You don't have to bathe them like you do with dogs. You don't have to walk them. Although there is a woman in my neighborhood who walks her cat on a leash, it's kind of cute. Okay, you generally don't have to play with them as much as you do with dogs. For my cats, if I play with them for about 10 minutes, two, three times a day, that seem, they seem to be very satisfied with that. So overall, they don't require as much attention as dogs mostly do. Pro number three. Generally speaking, cats tend to have fewer medical conditions than dogs do. So that means there are fewer vet bills involved, fewer trips to the vet, etc. Pro number four. Cats are great indoors. As long as you provide them with their own space, like a bed of their own, scratching posts, a cat tree if they're into it, 
I only have one of my cats is into a cat tree. Um, and obviously a place for their food and water. Um, as long as they feel safe and comfortable, that's, um, they're great indoors. Okay, um, pro number um, five. Um, cats generally can entertain themselves, especially if you have two cats. But note that some cats do like to be alone, just like some people do. Now that we went over the uh, pros um, of seniors owning a cat, let's go over a few of the cons. I can think of four of them. Con number one, the biggest problem that I would be concerned when it comes to cats and seniors is the tripping hazard, especially with a younger cat. When I had those kittens, it was an issue to walk anywhere. I mean, they're tiny, they go under the sofa and cabinets and everywhere else, which means that they can just jump out at you at any moment. And they seem to love to run around your legs, in front of you, behind you, all around you um, when you're walking, and especially when you're going down steps. I don't know what it is about the steps, but this can be an issue for most anyone. But for seniors who tend to have balance issues, uh, maybe visual, uh, perceptual issues, this can be a real problem. A middle-aged friend of mine who has no balance issues and is fairly young tripped over one of his two cats when he stepped back from his kitchen counter. He ended up tearing a muscle in his shoulder, which ended up requiring surgery and a few months of rehabilitation. So yes, the tripping hazard is something to be seriously considered. Con number two. Generally speaking, cats like familiar and safe surroundings. They don't like change very much. It's much easier to take a dog to someone's house so they can watch them when you go away, but you can't do that as easily with most cats. I once had a cat who um, I left with my aunt at her house while we went on vacation for a week, and that cat threw up every single day and did not eat at all for that entire week. So yeah, most cats prefer to stay at home so think about that if you tend to travel a lot. I personally now use a pet sitter who comes twice a day to feed and play with my cats when I go away. Con number three, indoor cats usually live 12 to 18 years on average. So for someone who is older, let's say 75 years old, it may get to a point where the person is unable to care for their cat. Or what if that person has to move into an assisted living facility or a nursing home? They may not be able to bring their pet with them. This can be a very difficult and depressing situation, but I do want you to know that there are resources available for these kinds of situations. Um, I still consider it a con, but only because it's something to be considered. But um, there are resources such as redrover.org, elderhelpers.org, seniorspets.org, and there's more um, who can provide um, help for seniors to care for their pets. I'll put the list of these um, resources and others in the description below, along with a link to an article that I wrote on the topic of helping seniors to care for their pets. I also want you to know, and it's also in that article, that there are many assisted living facilities who do allow pets. So if you do have to move into a community like that, consider looking into finding one of those. Um, a geriatric care manager should be able to help you with that. Okay, the last con, con number four. Cleaning the litter box or litter boxes can be difficult for some seniors. The reason being because most of us put litter boxes on the floor. So getting onto the floor and back up from the floor may not be the easiest thing um, for some seniors. And it can also be difficult for some older adults to scoop that litter simply because it can get clumpy and may require a little bit of upper body strength to scrape it off the box itself. But I do say you can get kitty litter that slides off easier. I'll put a link to that product in the description below as well. I use that product myself and I would say that it does make it easier to scoop the litter. It's not like 100% easy, but it's much easier than standard litter. Now, also, if you clean the litter boxes often, then it should be much easier to scoop it out. I mean, I clean my boxes twice a day, 
sometimes three times a day, and that works out just fine. One suggestion I would say about the um, height of the litter boxes um, is to place the litter boxes an inch or two up from the ground. You know, having maybe like a little uh, ramp if you place it much higher or a box next to the litter boxes so that your cat can get into their litter boxes much easier. Um, then you could place a chair there right next to the litter boxes for yourself so that when you have to clean it out, you can sit on the chair and scoop the litter out from a seated position, you know, versus having to get down on the ground. That should be much safer and easier. Something that I thought of for myself is to get my handyman to create some kind of a, a motorized lift <laughs> that the litter boxes could sit on. So the litter boxes could sit on that lift, which is, you know, on the ground, so the cats could get in and out of it. But then when I need to scoop it out, scoop them out, I can crank up that lift or push a button so that I don't have to go down to the floor to clean them. Yeah, I know it sounds like a bit much, but hey, if you have the means to do something like that in your home, then it would certainly make one of the worst parts of owning a cat much, much easier. <laughs> so I can see my husband rolling his eyes now. So overall, I would say that cats are good pets for seniors. It just depends on getting the right cat for that senior. And I would say that's true for most any pet. Um, if you have any suggestions or recommendations, please let us know in the comments below. We would love to hear from you. And again, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you like this video, click on the like button. And of course, click on the bell to get notified when we post our next video, which will be next week. Next week, we'll be going over how you can use the calendar, the reminder, and the list skills with your Alexa to help you as a senior and or as a caregiver. Thanks.